Welcome to Comic Movie 10, where you get insight into everything comic book movies and television related in 10 minutes or less. I'm Joe Kane. And I'm Dan Kane. No, no relation. relation. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and share and keep up with us at hecklercane.com. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about Willa Holland leaving Arrow. Yeah, uh, she announced that after five and a half seasons, she's going to be walking off the show. She played Oliver's younger sister, Thea. Also known as Speedy. Speedy. And, um, you know, she's uh, she's definitely one of my favorite characters, a, def- a well-liked character, I yeah. think. you know, I think she was loved by a lot of people on the show yeah. um, who, who watched the show. Yeah. She's she was an integral part of uh, Oliver's development coming back from the um, Lian Yu. Lian Yu, thank yeah. you. Uh, when she came back from when he came back from Lian Yu, it was like you know he felt like a mentor figure that he had to kind of you know uh, rein her back in from drug addiction and right. um, you know these it, it laid a lot of parallels to the comics. Um, right. There was a whole thing that uh, in the comics that Speedy, who was originally Roy Harper, right. By right. the way, in the comics, Speedy was his sidekick, and that was Roy Harper, and he had drug problems. And this was one of the first comics that tackled that, right. uh, you know, uh, drug issues as opposed to just like beat up the bad guys. Right. Um, very cool thing, and you know, Thea played that role in this series, right? As the as the person that he was, you know, trying to rescue from that, and then became the sidekick and put on the red hood, like. Very similar to what was in the comics. Right. Well, I mean, it, it started out, like you said, she was vulnerable and he felt, uh, you know, that he needed to protect her, which he always felt. But, sure. you know, she went through a, a long progression and a lot of changes throughout the series, maybe more than most of the characters on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, she went from that to, uh, you know, dealing with the loss of her father and then also Oliver, who came back to find out her biological father was, was Malcolm, Malcolm Merlin, Merlin. Yeah. Uh, who eventually trains her. And next thing you know, she's a lethal weapon. Yeah, and she comes back, and she's working with Ollie in yeah. in um, the capacity of the the, the hoods. Right. <laughs> yep. And um, you know, it's it it was it served itself as a uh, as that sidekick member. Right. When he didn't have a sidekick, you know, this was before Diggle was strapping up and going out for a uh, as his. Uh, you know, sidekick, and before we had the whole team of people, she was the she was the the foil, right, of someone who was a sidekick. Right. Uh, we had Roy Harper in there, and that became a love story, which was nice, a little romantic uh, right. piece of it, uh, which was kind of ironic because again, that character was kind of pulled from both from both from right. yeah from the one character yeah. of, of right. Speedy in the um, series. Right. Well, which he was Roy he, Harper. He was wearing the red. He was he yeah. was alongside him first, and then he mm-hmm. he took off, and you know, Speedy. Took over that role. Yeah. Um, it, you know, she, uh, from being a lethal weapon, you know, the funny thing is she went from being a lethal weapon to all of a sudden it was like the last two seasons seemed like she was a damsel in distress again. Yeah. Well, th- there were a couple of situations where I said, well, oh, man, come on. Like, she could take care of herself. Right. And But I think that was the writers kind of, you know, casually writing her out. Um, she had, you know, two seasons where she was asked, she asked to have uh, reduced episodes. Right. Um, which is strange as an actor going in and going, you know what, I don't want to work as much. Yeah. <laughs> but right. uh, I suppose there's other opportunities out there that she is uh, pursuing at this point. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, uh, you know, uh, Stephen Amell was very supportive, mm-hmm. uh, you know, in the media about her decision uh, that there's opportunities there. And kind of the same way his character Oliver reflected and was very supportive of her going, yes, you can go. <laughs> yeah, you can go. Well, she, right, the last episode. Um, she took off with Roy Harper, yeah, and yeah. Nissa Al Ghul, yes, because of three remaining Lazarus Lazarus pits. Lazarus pits. Say that ten times fast. I cannot. <laughs> um, and, that they need to take care of before it falls into the wrong hands. Yeah. Um, so he's letting her go on the show. Ironically, yeah. he's letting her go from the show. Well, there was, was a little little piece of that which we discovered, which is a, a neat little tidbit. Um, the first episode uh, where Willa Holland uh, saw. Um, you know, Oliver. Uh, Oliver again. Yeah. Uh, after not being apart for five years, uh, she said something. I, I'd rather you read it so we don't misquote it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Thea. This told, is in the pilot. Told Oliver in the pilot, coming back from Leon, you, I missed you so much, and Oliver said you were with me the whole time. And then. And then on this last most recent episode, 
As they're saying goodbye, Oliver says, I'm going to miss you so much. And she says, you'll be with me the whole time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very nice little send off. Yeah. Um, you know, mirroring that initial um, meeting where they came back together. So, right. Yeah. Uh, you know, they did it very wisely. Uh, my hopes are that, you know, she still has a guest spot once a year. Oh, I hope twice so. Twice a year. You know, it's the same way Roy Harper is. I mean, he still didn't disappear completely. He just, you know, pops up for an episode or two here or there. Right. I'm hoping she does that because, she, again, she was a strong character. I'm glad they didn't kill her off. Right. They didn't finalize it, although she is leaving the series. Um, she has the option to, you know, skip a year, yeah. <laughs> take a year off. Um, but, uh, you know... As far as it goes, I mean, she's she was a good, strong character, a, a good female character, a good, strong female character yeah, in the show, too. Absolutely. She didn't just help him um, out at night fighting people. She was also, uh, you know, on his team as as he's the mayor of um, Star City. Yeah. Um, and she, you know, took initiative to get things done while she was in that position. So she did play a very strong character uh, through and through, regardless of some, you know, negative things maybe early on. But that's that's everybody. You yeah. know, everybody has their ups and downs, and she was really just a good, strong character. You know, character. there's always some ups and downs between siblings. <laughs> yeah. But that's a personal thing we won't talk about on live air. Um, anyway, the uh, getting back to, to Willa leaving, um, where do you see the show going as far as, you know, not having this character? Not having the character. I guess some of the other people will... Uh, they've already started to take more of a central role. Sure. Some of the other characters that you know you have the two teams now mm -hmm. team arrow and team i don't like them <laughs> yes um, uh so again you know, another episode we could have a whole debate another episode on. yeah um you know they're gonna continue to take more of a central role and uh, figure out that whole situation um and you know that's what it'll be with to, to fill the hole that she's in you know what i mean yeah so well she's again she was already taking a step out for two seasons kind of you know right. taking a back seat so maybe it, it won't be as big of a hole as we think maybe not yeah i'll tell you one thing i uh i i missed in the last two seasons i actually missed the her suiting up and being out there you know yeah. her, her oliver and diggle were probably my the three people that I enjoyed watching out there do what they do it in mm -hmm. the middle of the night, mm -hmm. you know, beating up on bad guys. I, you know what? It it was a really good combination, and perhaps it would have stayed stagnant if it was just the three of them. So you know, the show is not afraid to move forward, which I I can appreciate. Yeah. And you know, and Willa Holland's character Thea is just she was a part of the show. She was an integral part of the show, and maybe it is time for her just to move on. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where Arrow will go now. Right. Um, he doesn't have that immediate, oh my God, she's right here and I have to protect her anymore. Right. Uh, she's out on her own. And obviously the, the way the send off was, is that, you know, he, he trusts her. He feels like she is, is perfectly capable of going and doing this. Uh, she has the support of Roy Harper, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's a good setup. I yeah, think for the future it is. Um, and again, she can always come back, and we hope she does. And, and Willa, if you're listening, we hope you come back and you know do some guest guest spots, um, not as a um, <laughs> not as a regular, obviously. But uh, we'd love to see you back on here. Um, and uh, anything else? I think that's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, well, we'd like to hear from you. Please let us know your thoughts on uh, Willa Holland leaving. Uh, where do you think the Arrowverse is going to go? Not having their speedy. Um, cause now they don't have Speedy and now they don't have, uh, Roy Harper anymore. Right. So that void, is that going to be a void in the series as compared to the comics? Um, let us know in the comments down below and we'll catch you next time on Comic Movie 10. We love bringing you these episodes and we need your help to keep them coming. Please don't forget to share and subscribe and keep up with us at hecklocane.com. And then when he left, she was going at it with Oliver. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs>